here we are. Welcome back to the channel. We are in Winchester at the Mercule Wessex, no, the Mercule Winchester Wessex Hotel, which is right by Winchester Cathedral. And I paid for a little bit of an upgrade because you won't all see it through here at the moment because it's a bit washed out, but I've got a view straight onto the back of the cathedral, which is great. Very, very small compact room, absolutely fine. Um, looks very cool. As you can see, nice bathroom. So it's Monday the 5th of, um, Monday the 5th of June, and the bells are ringing from the cathedral, which we'll go and visit tomorrow. And it's a full day exploring Winchester tomorrow. I have been here before, I'll link that little old video diary below. But yeah, it should be fun. In a minute, I'm just going down to the bridge uh, where the Natural Trust Mill is um, and having lunch at a lovely pub there. So, sorry, not it was dinner really. Um, yeah, we're here. Let's do this. Tuesday the 6th of June 2023 and a full day in Winchester today. Arrived yesterday as you know. One thing that did strike me, but one of the most desirable places to live in the country, the amount of homeless people I found was quite astonishing. Really quite astonishing, you know, the haves and the have-nots. Um, that really sort of threw me a bit, but uh, interesting. Anyway, today I'm going to go down to the cathedral uh, the Grand Hall, and see what other nuggets we can find. Join me. It's a lovely day today. That's my view. Of course, Winchester was the Anglo-Saxon capital of England. I'm going to enjoy saying that word quite a lot, Anglo-Saxon. This is the original Anglo-Saxon kingdom of Britain. lines in the grass here is the location of the original Old Minster, the Anglo-Saxon cathedral that was demolished in um, 1093 to make way for the new cathedral. So all the old Anglo-Saxon kings and queens were reinterred into the new abbey in caskets. So King Ethelred, Alfred the Great, they were all buried around here and then reinterred in the new cathedral. Very 
very nice. This is Cathedral Close. With the Abbey behind us, Cathedral Close. a lot of talking on this video because it's um the organ keeps kicking in which is fantastic William of Wickham was Bishop of Winchester 1367 to 1404 and founded Winchester College and New College Oxford She lived her early years there, and then when um, her father retired, he moved the family to Bath, and they lived there for a few years until um, he died, and the family could no longer afford to live in Bath. It was a very trendy place in the early 1800s. Yeah, there was a plaque for Jane Austen. It's been a little bit heavy in these videos from um, Hampshire. How to be impressed, how to be very impressed. Probably one of the most famous Gothic cathedrals in all of uh, Europe. This tomb here may contain the remains of Henry of Blois, Bishop of Winchester, 1129-1171. He was brother of King Stephen, and also, um, I think, associated with Farnham uh, Castle, which I did a video from last year. John the Evangelist and the Fisherman's Chapel, 1500s. I gave a gift day when I did the uh, bought the ticket. And what's great, once you buy a ticket, it lasts the whole year, so you can come back as much as you want within that year. That's really good. It's only like 12, 13 pound. Henry Cardinal Buffon was Bishop of Winchester, 1404 to 1447. I really need to go back to Canterbury Cathedral. We were there in 2018 after walking the North Downs Way with my friend Paul. It's a lovely little chamber. Very cool. Piscina over there. The 
Well, he'd been on this beneath this stone, believed to be that of John White, Bishop of Winchester, 1556 to 1560, who was suspended by Queen Elizabeth in 1559. site of Swithin's Shrine. I came when it first opened and it's getting busier and busier. I mean, it's a major tourist attraction though, of course, Winchester Cathedral, for international people as well. William of Wayne Fleet was Bishop of Winchester 1447 to 1486. Oh, this looks like a tomb of a knight. Stephen Gardner, Bishop of Winchester once upon a time. The original Norman East end of the cathedral was built upon a crypt which remained virtually unchanged. It contained the well underneath the high altar, which may predate the present cathedral. That was incredible. I, uh, I do hope the ticket allows me to come back for even song they have every day at 5.30. It'd be great. The font here is mid 12th century, 12th century. Let's just go up to the next level. Up here. A lot of French people here today, a lot of students. Can't go by without touching a lovely old door. These are the grand entrance uh, doors into the cathedral. We're not open very often. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. A little bit of Winchester Cathedral. Fantastic to be back again. So now I'm gonna head over to the old hall and the King Arthur table up on the wall. Let's go and check that out. Church of St. Lawrence. You remember coming in here before? There's been worship on this site for 900 years. That's an impressive hatchment there. Right just by a little alleyway that goes back out into the main high street. Yeah, I do remember coming in here before with Alan when we were here in 2010, 11. Just a quick stop in here. Let's carry on to the Grand Hall.
West Gate that also doubles as a museum. Right, let's go down to the Great Hall. Ways under the old uh, hall. New door. Obviously, doesn't, not much remains. There's a door down there that's locked, so you can't get through there. So, yeah. And Winchester, with the capital of England, the great castle stood on this spot. From here, the King of England ruled supreme across the Dominion. Now, some 800 years later, all that remains is the great hall and these ruins of a tower from the castle walls. There you go, King Arthur's Round Table from the 13th century, restored during the Henry VIII's reign as well. Yeah, if you're an Arthurian, you know this. In the late 15th century, Thomas Mallory created the image of Camelot, most familiar today in his work, Le Morte d'Arthur. Mallory's identification of Camelot as Winchester was probably inspired by it being the capital of Wessex, the capital of Wessex, and by the presence of the round table we see today, now known to date from the 13th century. Quick look around Queen Eleanor's Garden, opened by the Queen Mother in 1986. It's based on a 13th century ornamental herbal garden. Around. I want to call out pound town, but you bite my lip, don't make a sound. I'll be down if I'm leaving without you. Judge Jeffreys presided here uh, during the Bloody Assizes. He was a bastard, wasn't he? Take what's yours, I'll take what's left. I'm used to coming out second best. Always fail to pass the test. I'll be damned if I'm leaving without you. Nice coffee, nice Americano. And now we're heading over to the ruins of Wolseley's Palace. Let's go. I had a load of notes ready for this trip and I've only used about a quarter of them you know when you go into the cathedral it's, you're just sort of taking in with with the moment I didn't want it to be a history lesson because I'm not a historian um, I just want you to you know this is a video diary for me it's a living memory and I'm inviting you guys to come along with me that's why I look at it In a close around by the cathedral, lots of door. And old door alert, old door alert. Robert Crozer, you like that one? Thank you. 
piano practice. Of the old buildings. Fantastic. There used to be six medieval uh, entrances into Winchester, Kingsgate and Westgate. They're the only ones that remain now, which is a shame. Have a quick look in this little church here, which is the Church of St. Swithin upon Kingsgate. in this place for like 800 years. I didn't even know this was here. I literally just saw it as I walked by. Um, isn't that great? So I've got no research on it at all, except it's a church dedicated to St Swithins at Kingsgate. Again, these lists of rectors here. Uh, John Soundtier, I can't pronounce it, going back to 1328 and then going up to Karen Kusov, AD 2019. As there's a lot of work going on and lots of noise, we're going to head on down to the uh, palace. Let's go. What a nice little gem, though. Thanks for that. So we're in her village uh, in another video in this series, but here in this house Jane Austen lived her last days and died on the 18th of July 1817. So she died in this house here and then buried in the North Isle uh, at the cathedral. college with um, guided tours which I'm not going on today lovely old door again lovely old door got to touch them okay Wolvesley Castle Although it really is a palace, not a castle. Let's go and have a, have a quick look. The uh, Bishop of Winchester's residence. Not too shabby, is it? <laughs> Extensive, actually, quite extensive. The original medieval palace. Oh my god, here's going over the place. <laughs> it was built around 970, so it's Anglo Saxon in origin.
sometimes are even older, look here. Before the time of Bishop Henry, there had already been a bishop's residence at Wolvesley for over 150 years. Well, and evidence, of course, it says here of early medieval plumbing. I like this. Corridor. Such a modern word, corridor, between the east and west walls. We're walking past each other going, all right, how you doing? Yeah, yeah, good, thank good. Corridor. So this must be the east wall. This is the east wall. An audience with the bishop. So it's probably bought, this hall was probably built around 1138, 1138. Yeah, so there you go. So, thank you. The surviving ruins of Wolvesley were largely the creation of one man Bishop Henry of Blois, 1129 to 71, who built a palace befitting his immense wealth and powerful position. I'll link that Farnham Castle video below as well. That's another of his properties. Home of Bishop Henry. Thanks very much. Heading back round, I got lunch booked at the Royal Oak, just off the high street, which claims to have been the oldest bar in England. I'm sure it is. I think it's a riverside walk that goes back up to the entrance into Winchester. Yeah, I was down here last night when I was having the meal in the pub, just by the river and the bridge. That was a really nice steak and ale pie in the Royal Oak, which claims to be the oldest bar in England. It's actually Saxon in origin. It was given as a wedding present between King Ethelred, the unready, from Sa uh, Saxon times, to his uh, new Viking wife, Emma, back in the 10 hundreds. And when he died, she was actually the first queen of England. And when she, he died, she married King Canute. So she's the only English queen to have been crowned twice. We think he's got the name the Royal Oak from um, the English Civil War and after that time, but it's really nice, lovely staff and really nice food. So I really recommend that place. So yeah, that concludes our little video from Winchester. Um, it's been great. We've got a couple more videos to do on the way home uh, tomorrow. Um, what I'm going to do this evening is go to the Evensong 
over at the cathedral. I'm not going to video it because they don't allow videoing for services, which is fair enough. I just want to be in the moment, although I'm not religious, as everyone knows. Um, but I think it'd be really beautiful to hear some of the singing. Um, if you've liked this video, please do the usual. Thanks for watching, like, subscribe, all that normal stuff. And we'll see you next time. Take care. <laughs>